I'm looking for So just doing some mono blue. Makes sense. It's a good deck. We'll be with everyone shortly. Yep. 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 That's so weird. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. Oh jeez. That's so This is awful. What's happening? 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 Dude, what? This is awful. What's happening? Dude, what? going to be live momentarily people be right back <clears throat> I don't know what that was yeah it was very odd very very odd All right. Let's get to some drafting. Some Almond Cat Remastered. All right. All right, just making sure our stream is going through correctly. All right, we're going we're gonna to do some Almond Cat today. Yeah. Be different than normal. We usually don't. Haven't done too many drafts. I don't think we've done any drafts on stream yet, actually. Nope. So on stream. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. Don't mind us. I was just making sure our stream was going through. Yep. All right. Let's, Let's hop in. Yeah, just jump just right in. Hop right in. Bad boy. Yes, we would. We would like to purchase this. <clears throat> All right. Fill up these seats. Yep. Uh, got the my boogies. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Larry. The world mm. has to know. All right, we're ready. Let's click ready here and <clears throat> see what kind of sweet. Like SpongeBob says, I'm ready. That's right. See what kind of sweet options we have in store. For us, for this draft, there are a lot of really cool archetypes in this this format. Come on, it's, Sandworm Convergence Pack One. I that'd just, be hot. I just love that's, that card. That's one of them. That's one of the the, the big green decks are I'll always really it. sweet. I'd splash <laughs> it. Card card's so good. The card oh, is really man. really good. For one of sure. the best rares, not the best rare. Oh yeah. Oh, is this the last person? I thought that last person was going to be the buzzkill. I hate it when they do that. Yep. All right. Uh, let's. It's a fine rare, but it's kind of medium. Yeah, I'm not... I'm Deserts not, Hold's a very good card. Yep, that's the one, yeah. That's very, very reasonable. Very reasonable, just taking a gander. Cartouche's Strength, I'm medium on it, to be honest. Like, yeah, I don't love first picking Cartouches. They're, yeah. all, they're all pretty good, most of yeah, them, but I would I, never I would first never, pick yeah, really any of them. Yeah, first picking them is a little stretch. Desert's Hold's just a clean... Even if you don't have a desert, it just it even beats the gods, because they yeah. can't activate their abilities. So I'm a pretty. I think I think fan. that's where I'm at. Yeah, like, that, that's where I like to be too. It's better than the rare. Yeah. Ooh. All right. I don't know what. 
I don't know what's going on either. That channel. F oh, the rate. It shows you the ranking. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, Catra's that's Attendant is a very good card, and we've already taken a Desert's Hold. Yep. Um, oh. So. And that's pretty cool. That's my app. That's the untap thing. Okay, yeah. That's pretty cool. That is really cool, yeah. Um, it makes drafting really easy if you uh, have no idea what you're doing. You can just go off the numbers. Yeah. I could literally bring Julia down here and yeah. be like, hey. It's either a 10 or a Great Digger is another really good card. Great Digger is a very good card. Great Digger sure. is so good. Um, just Those kind of effects are usually pretty good. I think I would lean towards a 10 just because we already have a white card. Yeah, I'm all... I'm all for it. I don't really want to go and dip into an art color yet. Well, Not for that, at least. There's a Gus Walker. Yep, Gus Walker's good. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Pretty easy take. Card is just so much better. I'm honestly surprised it only is a 3.0. Card is really, really good. Yeah. <clears throat> this is a revisited <laughs> rankings, too, most yeah. likely, so... Yeah. Maybe he's valuing it based on the rest of the set. It's not. It is. It is worse than two, it, These are two sets combined. Right. Keep in mind. I have noted the red white deck in this format is oh wow start finish now too Jeez, or the, a white desert. Yeah. This is wow or so, this is incredible. We can do it whatever we want. We can um, if we took champion. Uh, I don't think it's white desert by any means. I think no 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 no. The, these the two uncommons are way it's too good. It's one of these two for sure. Yeah, it really depends uh, what. Honestly, champion, you this don't is, even have to splash black. It's just it's a just, two for one itself, and I, that's well, not not necessarily because you have to discard, but it becomes back as a four for because of how he yeah. penalized works. It's a very good card. I think I want to lean towards sure. that, just to get another creature. Yeah, I'm into it. Um, the card is just really good, and this means we could go into a different color besides black too. Yeah, to exactly. The, Card is pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not Makes a fan sense. of it. Um, here, in, you know, Catcher's name is pretty cool. If we were like going wide, mm -hmm. um, Desert of the True is a clean pick. Desert is, and it's, Thresher Lizard to be a very reasonable pick, I think too. Part of me thinks we just take the um, Desert here, just because. Yeah. Like I think I, said, I agree. I'm not really trying to dedicate too much into our color. Lizard is close because it's really good in the red white deck. Yeah, As it's just, just a really good card. It's like, a really good card. I like Wizard I a lot. I want to say we just did well with Red White, but that's not even necessarily true. We were a red deck with a yeah. splash of white yeah. making a yeah. rare appearance. Yeah, that was a, a really awesome deck. Yeah, we just seven win with a model red base deck. Add the white for the two mana, one that gives everything plus one, plus oh, when it attacks. I'm Crop Captain, I think the name Something is. like that. By the way, um, found out how powerful this guy. I thought this sacked when the game two. Left no, 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 no. I quickly realized it did not. Pufo's awesome, dude. And this card's also sweet. I don't imagine green white with sifter worm is probably where we want to be. Um, with this pack, this pack's interesting. Um, we could just like stick and just grab something that would anthem because the rest of the pack actually seems kind of mediocre. Yeah, Desert's Resolve is a solid card if you get enough exerters, especially being able to exert and then on their turn untap and kill something is yeah, really really I'm nice. It really, also cycles. Yeah. And clearly, they think it's you know it is a three point oh, so it, it's got a good rating there. But I'm fine with taking an you know, Oketra's name too. Yeah, just I think if we find a monument, it'll be better. Oh yeah, it will be if if we end up. Okay, okay so this maybe well there is a blur of blades too, um, but I was saying maybe green green looks very open. Yeah, green uh, does. Look Sandworm open. and Naga. Do we just take this in, in case we're... And go, like, a little bigger? Yeah, yeah. I think you should. I, I think let's take green the good does, card. Yeah, green does look pretty sweet. Um, All right, well. <laughs> well. That changed quickly, but I still think... Yeah. This pack could have just been like, very light on green regardless. <coughs> uh, blue, actually, both these are pretty good uh, blue cards. Um, this, is, this is tough. Yep. Uh, Avon Initiate is... Solid card. Yeah. I think it's one of these two for sure. Which one do you think we should take? Let's I'm, go with the aerial guide. I'm yeah. actually a little more I like impressed. giving my guys flying, so I'm, yeah. I'm definitely into that. And All there's right. an essence scatter or a very solid those who serve is, is a... I think we just take the creature. It's, a, it's got a good toughness on it. Maybe we'll turn that... Another aerial guide. Yeah, aerial I think, yeah. yeah, I think we're just going to end up being blue-white. Yep. Which is fine. Still not married to blue, but... Yeah, but... With this, definitely... I guess we just take the floodwaters. Sure. Probably not playing it. No. I I can't believe that's rated a three at all. Honestly, yeah. that card is really we'll not just take very that good. In case for some reason, if we get in the red, we have an option. Yeah, we got a couple good cards for the red base. Uh, sure, sure we know we're not playing. Yeah, we're not going to be that kind of deck. 
I am not taking Shatterstorm. No. All right, so let's take a look at this. Yeah, a lot of interesting options here. A lot of interesting options. We could be a little risky and take the really good black white uncommon in I was case. Thinking that because we're not dedicated to any of those. Right, so we're we not dedicated yet. We could turn in and, and start getting some zombies because does the turtleize make it a zombie? Yep. Yeah, we got this that synergizes yep. with zombies. We have Inoketra's name, so so maybe we just do that. Yeah, let's, let's I, give I'm it a try. I'm, I'm into the risk. Yeah, let's look at some black cards. Well, while now we're there's there a too. that's now this card's a, really good too. It is. Maybe we're supposed to take that one instead of the Amit just in case we end yeah. up not being black. But Amit is a obviously very very yeah, this good card. card. Is really good. It like, is. Yep. I remember that in the first limited. Yeah, it's awesome. It's yeah. a really really nice card. It's a low low to the ground. Um, so here. I think I don't mind uh, if we're gonna if we have the if we do want to go that black white route. Those who serve is pretty good. Um, the camel's pretty good too because most likely it can build a body for itself. Yep. Um, probably I'm leaning towards one of those two. Yeah, let's go with those who serve. I'm yeah. into it. Cards I think we're pretty safe that we're probably not gonna be red. So I'm willing to put those down there for now. Well, and then we're past a really good red on common, so maybe <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> this is really tough. Because uh, there are literal no good white cards here. Stamina is, like, fine, but I don't really want to take that out of this pack at all. The blue is still an option because this is a... Yeah, and so is Cartouche. Cartouche, Aven Initiate's there, too, which yeah. also comes back as a zombie, which doesn't really matter because Wayward Servant won't be in that deck, yeah. but... Ooh, I'm not against the cartouche, though, just because I love the cartouche. Sure. But, Maybe we just do an evasive blue-white deck. Maybe that that's the true. plan. Yeah. Let's take this cartouche. Um, Fan bearer. Yeah. That's easy. We're going to take the awesome white card. Yeah. There's no way that card should have still been in the pack. I would. I have first pick Fan bearer. Like, that card is really, really good. Just a good just a good Yeah, card. Compulsory Rest also. I would first pick that card. I didn't even very, hesitate very... when I grabbed the like, thing. <coughs> oh, I have first picked that. Oh, yeah, one. me too. Me uh, too. We'll just take the white. Um, let's take a look here really quick. This is There's an aerial guide and a blue cartouche again. So I like another cartouche. I'm into it. I think cartouche is just really good. Why take the, the medium 3-3 flyer when we could just make something a flyer? Yep. Giving uh, turtleizing this and making it fly is pretty cool. Yeah, or just you know, I, I thought about taking our area guide too, just because I really yeah. like that car when you're doing these kind of. Yeah, no, it's so sweet. Like cards like Gus Walker and Oketra's Avenger, when you just throw cartouche on them, you don't even have to exert them. They just <laughs> get to crush people without even having to, to do the whole exert thing, which is really cool. Yeah, no, I'm I'm liking this so far. It looks like a pretty good deck. We definitely need. We'd like some more twos, some nice aggressive twos to throw mm -hmm. cartouches on, but. Uh, the deck's shaping up very nicely. Yeah, sure. so I'm I'm pretty sure we're not going to be. Oh yeah, we're we're, I think we're we into have, it. We're blue white. We're going to be some blue white. Well, do we go pack in the half black? <laughs> oh man, I don't know. We can I've, get a lord right here. This deck is looking pretty good though. Um, yeah, it looks cool. Definitely blue solid. white temple style deck. Yep. We got some sweet cards. Yep. Yep. Okay. You can just take the Dauntless Haven. This, Chef of um, Dunes is obviously good, but we don't really have a token strategy going on. Yeah, so. and that's not really good in what we're trying to do. Yep. Except um, there is argument that it's pretty good with flyers, so you never know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I'm thinking about just taking the um, Shatterstorm here just so I could have a rare. Yeah, that's very reasonable. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not going to fault you for that. It's a rare, one less rare I need to open. Uh -huh. The rest of the pack was medium, yeah. super medium. We would have taken a Blue Desert. We would have taken maybe another of those who serve, although I yeah, probably I don't, don't want to play three. I don't imagine us playing three. Yeah. Not now. Yeah. We might not even be playing more than one. Okay. Even of Enduring Hope. Yep. Good little flyer. Yep. I was just seeing um, if we had anything that's really cycling or whatnot, but we were not, so we can move on from that. Mm -hmm. Most likely we're not going to be playing in Oketra's name now, but... Nope. I don't know. We could find a, a monument still open. Yeah, then I'd probably still play it. Yeah, <laughs> monuments are real cards still. Because, oh, monuments! So good. we're we're a blue deck because we're let's be real. This card's probably not going to play. I'm just gonna no, put that no, down there. No. There's no way that we're playing floodwaters. Yeah, and like you said, we're probably not playing in Oketra's name, but it's still at least possible. Um, let's see. I think I would take the two drop. Yeah. I I don't care. I like the, being, about the I rating. Like being, um, cur I like my curve low. Yeah. The lower curve actually makes the aerial guides better too because right. it's additional guys. So it curves in this low. format. You need to play a spell on turn two. If your hand does not play a spell on turn two, especially if you're on the draw, I would probably never keep it, ever. 
Um, this format, like if you play against these aggro decks and you do nothing on turn two, you are going to be so far behind. Unless you have like a sweeper or something weird, do not keep those hands. I agree. I could maybe see an argument for Splendid Agony. If you have a Splendid Agony hand, it might be good enough, but it's pretty risky still because if the if the white red deck just goes like Gust Walker into Thresher Lizard, you're going to look really silly. Um, all these are not <coughs> being played, so we'll just throw you down there. Yep. Again, yep. We're just throwing a card in there just because it doesn't matter. Yep, absolutely. Well, it could be playable. This is a nice pack. There's a Sunset Pyramid. It's a very solid, uncommon, unquenching thirst. A solid card. Fan bearer, obviously. Yeah, fit. <coughs> I think it's fan bearer. Um, <coughs> oh, wrong monument. Oh, so yeah, close. yeah, I like fan bearer. Yeah, yeah. That's just because it's a low creature. Too. This card's just incredible, dude. Ooh, there's some good cards in this pack. I know what I know what I'm thinking. It is new perspectives. It is. I mean, it is a draw three. Um, at the no. end of the day, but it's no, a lot I of think mana. It's supposed to be late claim. Um, just a really good top end card. Like, and and if it's bad, you just cycle it. Yeah, and the fact that that yeah. if we can't deal with like scare of gods things like that, yeah, we a say bomb thanks. that they glory yeah. bringer for yeah. example. That's why Lake claim is so insane. Okay. Such a good card. Another Monu Gus Walker. There's a Gus Walker and a third. I guess we take Gus Walker because two fan bearers is already yeah. pretty good. We yeah, I, I like Gus Walker because. Is, so good to throw throw cartouche and give it flying with aerial guide and or whatever. We don't even need to exert it. We right. Just, we don't exert it till we absolutely need to. We yeah. just start chipping them away. Yeah. Between that and um, Aerial Guide, Gus Walker don't have to actually exert until he wants to. Yeah, that's the great thing about all the exert cards is they're good creatures without exerting. They're fine, and then when they exert, they're just they're used. Most of them are incredible. So you just get to pound with them like a normal. Oh my goodness! Wow, I think it's Ooh, I like hard. Farm Market yeah. a lot. We can splash glorious then. 0.0. 0. 0. Yeah, I'm actually in the farm market. Yeah, farm market. market gives us a little more removal and uh, some manipulation at the end there. I would not fault you for rare drafting yeah. the cut ribbons here I at all. I think I'm going to, actually. Yeah. Even if Enduring Hope is fine, but we don't need it by any means. No. We already have two 5 drops, which is fine. And a 7 drop. So. Okay, so. Wow. Another cartouche is not chill. We could just take another. Let's um, take a gander here. Really yeah, quick. let's look at our, our curve. So let's just assume that we're not playing Yeah, we're this. not playing that. Just get there. Two drop creatures. I think we take the other two drop creature. I'm into it. Let's just try the curve. Yep. And that's um, smart drafting. That's smart drafting right there. Disciplined. Call that disciplined. <clears throat> um, but yeah, no, I, I agree for sure. With that, uh, binding mummy definitely has some text. We have, <clears throat> we have it's eternalize, yeah. yeah, and of those. So, yeah, I, it's a two drop. It's a thing that we will absolutely be happy to say blue cartouche through you. Again, I am very happy with two five mana plays and a seven mana play, and we can call it good with our bombs there. There you go, Sacred Cat here. Yeah, I like. We Sacred. don't need a third those who serve at all. <laughs> no, <clears throat> there's no way we're playing. We probably might end up playing the two just for the um, fact that it's like in the sideboard. Yep. All right. Um, I cannot believe Sunset Pyramid made it back. I think that card's better than a 2.5, but it's really interesting having the ratings up there. Um, but I, I like that card quite a bit yeah. if you have a controlling deck, but maybe just no one has a we'll controlling just take deck. We'll the Uncommon, obviously not playing Ooh, it. Anointer Priest is solid. Yeah, it's, it's low. Jeez. What on earth? That is a disgusting thing to see right there. Yeah. End of pack three. <laughs> 
just Jeez. all very playable red cards. That is yeah, insane. Yeah, red would have been awesome. That is insane right there. He was just don't respect red. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, that is wild. Yeah, this looks like a 14 land deck. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Two five drops and a seven drop, in which we would like to not cycle. Oh man, that's funny. All right, well let's do some building. Yeah. So let's look at this really quick. I forgot we got that desert. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I just completely forgot about it. It's really nice. Yeah. No, it's one hundred percent sweet. All right, so let's take a look here. Make sure there's no cards here that we found unplayable. Forsake the Worldly definitely doesn't need to be in the main. No. Yeah. Don't we need to play it? Those Who Serve is actually the next worst card, I think. We could cut one of those. I'm fine to play one, but I don't really like playing two in this deck. We're more aggressive than not. Um, I think because we're playing as much mana as we are, we actually do want the three five drops. Yeah. Honestly, I'm okay with just playing both of these. Yeah. I think they're the worst cards. I think yeah. Mining Mummy is trying not, to be it's not enough justification to play no. a, play a bad card right. because we have Binding Mummy. Right. Binding Mummy, if he gets one trigger, I'm happy. Yeah, and honestly, like I said, he is a two mana two two that we can throw a cartouche on or give flying with guide. That's good enough. Yes. Like that's what the stack is. And wants the fact to do. that we have Lee Bong, we Yeah, we have an Oiter Priest, Sacred Cat, like, the attendant. Yeah, like, we have plenty of ways to pull that off. Yep. And we have this aftermath where if it ends up drawing a lane where we don't need it, and we have this in the grave where we can easily pitch be it. an easy pitch. Yep. This so, deck looks really solid. Yep, I, this is going to be fun. Lands look fine. Yep, lands look white. good. Yep, nine, nine whites compared to the eight blue. Uh, yeah, because of lay claim, the eight islands make sense. If we didn't yeah. have a double blue spell, I would actually think it would be 10-7. Yeah. But I like let's this. Let's respect the lay claim. And yeah, because it's a really important card. If yes. we can cast that, it's going to steal games. So, you know, I think, I think this is going to be a pretty good deck. This looks pretty solid. Definitely not the best deck I've ever seen, but definitely not bad. Pretty happy with it overall. Pretty happy with it overall. And looks fine to me. Turn one cat, turn two cartouche it up, draw a card two, you gain two. That's yep. what this hand does. <laughs> Our opponent's going to think we're the Slither Blade deck. <laughs> <clears throat> Flames Kitty Cat. Hopefully, our opponent doesn't have a magma spray. All right. Still hoping our opponent doesn't have a magma spray. Still like the play either way. Cartouche. Nobody draws <laughs> that card. All right. That's a good draw. Yeah, it's a really card. good draw. <clears throat> Tack for two it was also a good draw. Fight! I have a spray. Oh my god. He doesn't have spray. Let's go. Let's go. Let's this is a great start. Yeah, efficient. I agree. Let's go to 26. <laughs> We're gaining all the life, and our opponent is taking all the damage. This is a good place to be. <laughs> sure. All right, that's pretty sweet. All right, let's... Attack with just Sacred Cat, and then play Fanbear. Let's go, Kitty. And we'll get to farm his guy. Yep. This is nice. This is really, really nice. Um, well, this is nice. We're going to get a two-for-one on this farm, basically, because he's just making our cat a 1-1 one -one again. Not a big deal. <coughs> Why you do the kitty like this? Consume will exert. Yep. Farm. Bye-bye. <clears throat> See you later. Thanks for two cards. All right. Now we get to untap, attack with everything. Yep. All hail. Market is draw two, then discard two, right? Uh, I think it is because it's blue. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's what we're doing, I think. Get rid of this island for sure. 
Never mind. No, you're not. I think we're supposed to technically... I would just pitch a Tendent and White Desert, I guess. Because next turn we can still just embalm it. I'm going to play this other fan bearer. Yep. <clears throat> and even if we don't get to the late claim, our opponent can just never block. Like, two fan bearers is just going to make it impossible to block. Yep. No, I'm not oh, yeah, blocking. Yeah, that can't block. Sure. You could block with that if you Give want. Give it haste. Oh, it doesn't have haste itself. Never mind. Oh, uh, let's see. I think this turn we just hit him for one in the air with Cat and then embalm this attendant. I think so. Yeah. Let's go, Kitty. <laughs> Playing Bloodlust and Cider and Dune Beetle in the same deck as a sign you draft did not go well. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is a disaster. Though I would, I would hate to play a deck with both of those cards in it. Like I'm fine with playing either or in the right deck, but playing both of those, ooh boy. Oh, that was a nice timely desert's hold. It was. I think we're gonna say six four. You may not attack or block, and we're going to gain three. All we've done this game is gain life. It's been pretty yeah. funny. Yeah, we really have. <laughs> we have literally... We're just going to swing four in the air and play our two drops. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's smart. Yep, let's just be efficient. Yep. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, next turn our opponent very likely dead to us just going tap a guy, tap a guy. We can uh, You know, that's just the... Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for him to get out of this. Yeah, that doesn't even come close. Yeah. All right, one zero. -oh. That was a dominant game. That was not even remotely close at all. Like I said, our opponent's deck was probably a train wreck, considering they're playing Dune Beetle and Bloodlust and Cider in the same deck. That is not good. It definitely <coughs> wasn't the best. I would imagine. Like, there's no way that was the best they could have no. done. Yeah, not, not at all. I'll be right back. I have uh, food on the way. I'm gonna check. All Let's right, sounds good. I'll load it up. Uh. <clears throat> all right, next one. Good enough. Kitty. Alright. I just need to. Uh, I guess it should have been that. It's fine. No box. Let's get the social media updated. Do, do, do. All right. So you have got your stuff back with some some food. How are we doing? All right. It's fine. Um, yep. Just doing some thinking really quick. <clears throat> I think I like getting this out here for sure, I guess. This swings the best, but that's not really doing much. So It might have been right to attack first, because he probably wouldn't have blocked. Whereas yeah. now it's more likely he'll block. That's true. Either way. Attack both. Yeah. I'm just I'm also updating social media at the same time doing this, so Fair enough. Don't mind me And he here. apparently didn't want to block. Hmm. All right. Makes sense. Does he have the Lord in his back? 
seems very plausible. Indeed it does. Oh, that messed up. Hold on a second. All right, so let's just go ahead and play our land. I think we let's do our combat stuff first. Yeah. So um, if he blocks there, he probably kills this afterwards. He's gonna do that regardless. But if he ends up blocking here, you would at least take two. And then he the cat's not going anywhere. I can guarantee that. Let's see. We'd also probably just not attack. Yeah. I think we just play this and we probably plan on cycling this desert. <clears throat> Um, I think I would cycle the attendant, but... Yeah, I forgot the attendant has cycle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So I think late claim will be very good this game. Yeah. We're going to need to be good. I think we block the 2-2 two -two with Spellweaver Eternal. Um, and then I'm pretty into putting a Noiner Priest on the Festering Mummy and just letting him kill thing. off the Avenger. <laughs> yeah. I dig it. I'm expecting at least a Supernatural Stamina here. I would not doubt it. Alright. Okay, that's not what I expected. Just nothing. Maybe a wander in death? Maybe they have a wander in death. Otherwise that attack's terrible. They they've gotta have something. Some sort of good follow up to make that attack better. You should retweet our stuff, by the way. I don't have my phone. Oh, okay. Never right now. Is it charging? There. Let's cycle that uh, attendant. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a, the Sun Scorch was really nice. Yeah. Attack all. Then we're just going to play this on Desert. Yeah, we have to. And I think we play the Sun Scorch just yeah. gain some life. I agree. Swing this race. <clears throat> I am very confused. Combat, attack all. And I think we're just going to play this um, attendant out of the graveyard yeah. and gain a life off a Noiner Priest. And, yeah, I think yeah. that's the plan. I don't really know what's going on here. They're missing a color or something. They've got to be. Yeah, that would make sense. Because, yeah, they've been doing a bunch of nothing. Yeah, they've done nothing for two turns. I, I Their attack was so bad that they made, though. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. All right. That's well, pretty good. Yeah. We could just... We can do this and this. Yeah, this yeah, which is definitely what we're doing. So let's start here. We'll just go ahead and give you four. Yeah. Yeah. You're the most power. <laughs> hmm. I think we desert hold the yeah. flyer still, and then next turn we can give another creature flying, and there's no way he's not dead. And that gains us life. Yeah, swing everything except anointer pre or nope, don't swing on the ground, my bad, because yeah. he can block. Yep. Yeah. Trying to set us up a failure. Yeah, no, that's fine though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'd lose anyway. Both of them come back, so <laughs> Yeah, for real. Literally both. Mm-hmm. You playing a Noiter Priest in your um, monument? I was playing... Uh, I didn't have room for it because you're already playing Soul Warden. Um, but 
I don't know. Maybe you could play both. Yeah. Um, I think it's wrong not to play that card with that deck. Um, but anyway, so um, let's see. Just because it replaces itself where it comes back, which is huge. All right, so you got three mana. Oh. I think I definitely like this. Just a matter of where. I guess. Probably Sacred Cat. It yeah. gains us more life. Yeah. Our opponent's dead. There's no way they're not dead. Like, but attack all. Or not annoy your priest. I got you. <clears throat> but yeah, they just uh, have nothing. They <laughs> they definitely got mana screwed there. <coughs> no way they didn't. Mm -hmm. But we take those. We sure do. This deck's looking awesome right now. This is going really well. It is definitely going not the worst. All right. One more win, and then it gets to a nice feeling. Yep. Really good feeling when you hit four. When you hit five, there's no stress anymore. Mm -hmm. Stress is officially gone. Four, you're just down 100 gems, <laughs> but you're up three packs. Yep. Five, you're just up everything. Mm -hmm. Seven, and you just go and cry a little bit. Because Looks good so to me. Happy. We're going Cat Cartouche again. Desert Toad's pretty good to have in the end. Yeah, very good hand. All right, let's go ahead and play us a kitty. Meow. I believe Lake Lane will be good someday. One day. Mm -hmm. Coming to a theater near you. Watch her, huh? Cartouche. I agree. I choose you, kitty. That's going to be annoying. Yeah, it might be. It doesn't have to shut that off if we ever want to. I don't think we will. We'll probably yeah. hit a better card than that. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> but it does, yep. Yeah. It does. Yeah, there's this holds a really good card. Yeah. Love that card. It doesn't really have a downside because game of life is irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's rude. Yep. Sure. Hmm. That whole joke about Desert's Holding it, uh, yeah. we actually just might Desert's Hold it, honestly. Yeah, I think we got to now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That will be good. I think I like Desert's Holding it. I do, too. Mm -hmm. It's like a two-for-one still. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. That's a zombie. That's pretty, pretty cool. It's really cool. Um, I know I like playing Binding Mummy here. Yeah, I like leading on Binding. I think they have Essence Scatter, potentially. All right, and then I think we just play the Fan Bearer. Yeah. Let's just try and get that down. If he didn't counter Binding Mummy, it's very possible he doesn't have one. Maybe he does. Maybe he just didn't find Binding Mummy around yeah. it. Yeah, and maybe so. Okay. So the message, tap your guy down. At least he can't exile our graveyard now. Yep. Yeah. That dream is dead. Mm-hmm. All right, that's fine. Yep, that's not attacking or blocking. No. After this turn. Oh, no, it won't attack. It, oh. We can make it so it can't block right now. Yeah, I forgot about that. Which that's sick. Will. Mm -hmm. Get in for two free points here. Yep. Ba-boom. <laughs> The three three still ain't going to attack us, so that's cool. Yep, it ain't blocking either. You have a two three, sure. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Solid cool. draw. We're one turn away from our late claiming. Probably the two three vigilant idiot. Oh, honestly, yeah. yeah. That'll be a nice that. one to steal. So. I think we just pass. Yeah, I was thinking. I was like, I don't think swinging this to really just. We're gonna we're anything. gonna probably win the long game because yeah. of late claim. So I 
Cap your three three. Yeah. You gets no swing. Well, do we block the one one token? I think so. Yeah, they definitely have something, but I still think we block. Yeah. Because they're, al they're always going to have something. It's not going to change. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what I figured. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. Great draw. Yeah. Now we get to tap that 2-3. Thanks, Binding Mummy. Mm. Then we have to crash in for two with the Binding Mummy. And, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. Yep. Go. We'll still not let that 3-3 do anything. Because we're, yep. we're nice people. Mm -hmm. Tap that 3-3. Swing out for 3, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Ow. Okay. That's nice. Oh. Okay. That's nothing I really care about. Mm -mm. Or us. Land! Nice. I still think we're supposed to take that. I do too. Well, attacking with Eternal makes a ton of sense. Yeah, because trading with either of those is Trading is nice. great. And then he also takes a little bit of damage. Yeah, let's go. He just won't block. But it's a very free attack. Yeah. He probably is going to um, swing with Gus Walker for sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm expecting that old catcher's card here. So that would be 4, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13 if we don't block anything. So we do need to block. Yes, we die. So I think... What if we just put Binding Mummy on the 1-1? One, one? That's what I was thinking. I think that's the best play. That's a smart block. Um, yeah, let's do that. Very heads up. <laughs> does he have two of them? Because if he does, we just Oh, we just win. did the math wrong. Did we? It's because this was a zombie. I counted that. Oh, did you? That's weird. That's fair. I don't know what... what I didn't calculate it at yeah, all. I don't know what got miscounted. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, because I counted that for four. Either way, good read on your part. Yeah. You knew he had it, so good oh, call. Yeah. It's all good. Um, unfortunately, math, somewhere the math got messed up. Mm -hmm. It's fine, though. No worries. No. Sometimes that happens. Yep. Yeah, just trying to figure out if there was like a bet. I guess the 2-2 two -two could just been in under anything else. Yeah, the best block was probably put the 2-2 two -two under anything else, probably the 2-3, and then put our 2-3 on as 1-1. Because the 1-1 one -one doesn't get plus yeah. 2, it only gets plus 1. So that would have been a free kill. Yeah. And then <clears throat> we'd have lost Binding Mummy, then we'd have double fan bear for the rest of the game, so it would have been mm -hmm. close at least. Yeah. <clears throat> That's fine, though. Like yeah. I said, I'm not... I'm not super concerned. Not about not it. a big deal. No, nope. mistakes happen. And that that mistake didn't say that we would have won the game by any means. No, no, we would have had a better chance of by not dying. Um, come to find out, once you die, you don't have many good chances to win the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's cool. Yep. Uh, all right. Hands good. Yeah, this hand's awesome. Let's walk her into this bad boy. Let's mm -hmm. go. And just having a desert hold in hand. Yeah, that's a nice hand. I like holding desert hold. Me too. It's nice. Me too. Give me one of my teas down there. There you are. Yeah, do it for your king. Um. <laughs> yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I thought. That card's sure. really annoying, by the way. 
Against this hand, it's not going to be very no, bad. Just, but it is, just yes. Down, no, for, the, for, the, for these aggro decks, especially red-white, for red-white, that card is very, very frustrating. So is that one. But yeah. fortunately, this hand um, is not... They should attack here. It'd be terrible to not attack. Yeah. Well, I'd just take one. Yeah, we can't block. We'd lose our Cuss Walker. Like, yeah, yeah. Smart attack. All right, for here. So if we went, let's take it really quick. I think we're supposed to definitely play the aerial guide here. I think we want to be man efficient. I think we just attack and exert. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because they like we're doing nothing next turn because we still have a two to it at the end of the day. Yep. I don't think we do for long. I think it's going to get lethal stung here. You are so negative. I know. You're so negative. I know. Be but I'm just positive. being honest with you. Pathetic. Pathetic. Don't get me wrong. I hope he doesn't. All right, cool. It doesn't look like he did. Attack with both. No, they should have attacked with both. We'll take one. That's a great That's draw. That's a really good draw. I definitely want to play it. Yeah, then we attack for two with Aerial Guide, and then Cartouche, probably the one that can block, I guess. Yeah, we could just do that. First. Yeah, just do that now. It's literally nothing. Uh-huh. You know, I mean, now all of our creatures fly. We're in a good spot. The hat doesn't do anything. Uh, this side of the desert will probably. <laughs> desert holds literally for a flyer. Yeah. Ready to race? I don't know why they didn't, oh, they didn't swing because it probably wasn't good. Because <laughs> we have a three. <laughs> yeah. All right. Attack all. Yep. Give the 2-2. Two, two. That doesn't have flying, flying, and then next turn he's dead. Two exerts. And everything else. I think we just play the fan bearer. I don't think we need the desert's hold yet. No. I would hold the land in case he has another Miazza. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. I don't want to get blown out by that. Yeah. Not blown out, but I don't want to lose that. Yeah, we, really, don't, we don't want him to do something insane like Black Source, Miasmic. Well, I don't know if there even is a two-mana removal spell in Black Green in this format. There's a three-mana one. That's like fine. that, but that was a really loose no attack. <coughs> I think we just exert and swing six. Yeah. <laughs> I agree 100%. You just drag with attack. Yep. <clears throat> now we get to play another fan bearer. Still going to keep holding the land. I agree. Go. <coughs> hmm. mm -hmm. 2-1. One. 3-1, one, actually. Is it 3-1? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was 2-1 for some reason. Our first two went really fast. That's probably why I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. One of them was a lot like that game where our guy went like Bloodlust and Sight or Dune Beetle or whatever. Um, that sense. was one game, and then... Okay, no, I, I wasn't arguing, <clears throat> I just couldn't remember. You know, this is this is sweet. Three wins is good. Three wins is solid. Try to keep going here. Yep. Keep the dream alive. Yeah, he goes two drop, three drop, three drop. Yeah, solid. Uh, we're on the draw. Actually, I like this kind of hand better on the draw. Just removal, removal. <coughs> Should do well. <clears throat> All right. We'll take more lands for this lay claim. Yep. 
We need a second blue source anyway. Nope. All right. I read him cycle that and playing it. I agree. I've actually so far been pretty unimpressed with that card in this format. I'd be curious what they uh, what rating it got. Uh, I didn't pay any attention during our draft, but you gotta have a lot of setup for it. You gotta have a lot of setup. Um, five mana four, just okay. That's, that's fine. Uh, five mana four fours are kind of medium, especially that it doesn't fly. It doesn't have evasion. It's very easy to chump block. Um, when you're cycling it on one, unless you're playing this card exactly, cycling it's not good. Uh, but that is good. Um, they might have a good deck with it. Yeah, no. Yeah, they, they clearly do. Sarcophagus <laughs> changes everything. That's a rare. Uh, yep, this and cat. You know, all the cycling cards are awesome when you have Sarcophagus. <laughs> Your deck is really sweet when you got that going on. <clears throat> it's just, just Loris. Except it's exiled after. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's really cool. Cool card. Oh, yeah, they played it in um, Standard Drake Haven. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Cool card. Um, let's see here. I think we just deserts hold it and play fan bear and hit them for yeah. four. We got to be aggressive. We're not going to win a long game here. So, and we know full well he's going to have cycling cards to trigger it too. So, attack both. What are we discarding? I have a good chance he's going to make us discard two this turn. That's possible. Um, probably lay claim island. Yeah. And just keep the farm to get us through another thing. Yeah, it's very possible they make us discard two here, but then we do get to hit them for five, so they might choose to not do that just because they're not progressing the board at that point. Um, we'll see. They Like like you said, though, it's very plausible that it happens. Okay, the 4-4. Four, four. That, that also makes sense because it yeah. blocks. Uh, okay, now... All right. I think we just attack all, and then we'll farm it when he blocks. Yeah. And then I think when he, I think we just leave everything in our hand because uh -huh. I'd rather keep lay claim than lands. I think. <coughs> nice hey. nine viewer raid. What's going on, Connor? What up, man? <laughs> Hello, Gak, to you too, Connor. <clears throat> yep, farm it up. Yep. That's awesome that they blocked like that, playing around stuff too. They're yeah. taking two more damage. <laughs> they were like, we're going to make sure that we don't die here. They're playing around in you know, Oketra's name as well, yeah. I think. Past. Yeah, we're going to keep it. Yeah, let, I definitely just ditched the two lands and stuff. I agree. Claim. But honestly, him making us discard too, like he's going to seven if he does that automatically. Yeah. So he, again, might be kind of yeah, enticed might, to not yeah, do that. I agree. I wouldn't be happy about it if I was in his shoes, that's for sure. Especially if he thinks we have Inoketra's name, because then he's at, you know, three. <clears throat> so, yeah, a lot what of hard. What is it, Crusha? That makes Hello sense. over there. <clears throat> I think that is, am I pronouncing that right? All right, now... All right, so let's see this. Okay, I was looking down the screen. I think we so cast really... Market off Island Island Plains. I agree. And then we see, see what, we got what is here. happening here. Okay. Hmm. So I think we discard see. Island Island and then play an island. Yep. And then attack for two. Yep. And now, even if he makes us discard, we'll still have a follow-up five drop. Yes. So. Which well, is actually pretty good. Yeah, very good. I mean, just another yeah. threat, and we have a tapper, so. Yep. And it looks like this might be the turn where they do it, which yeah. would make sense. It feels, okay. Makes sense, too. Just trying to not die. But now we get to cycle the Desert of the True. Yep. I agree. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So cycle this bad boy. 
<coughs> okay. Yep. That's a nice discard. I agree. That's uh, also a nice discard. Yeah. Wow. That went about as good as it could have. So we play Aven. Yep. I we agree. just don't attack this nope. turn. No reason We to. pass. He'll make us discard two maybe and we'll pitch in a bomb creature in a land. Yeah. So it seems really <laughs> good for us. It's not the word. That is insane. We pro I couldn't have drawn up really much better two cards. Maybe two embalmed creatures, but yeah, that is incredible. <clears throat> sure. Ooh, that one's really nice with Sarcophagus. Being able to cycle it and <laughs> yeah. then still play it. Oh, that's I'm going right. to cycle it and then bring back a couple <clears throat> cards. To be fair, Wander and Death... Alright, well, we know what we're doing. Wander and Death is pretty bad once you have the Sarcophagus in play because they all get exiled. Yeah. So... Maybe it actually isn't as good as I was in it. Oh, it's only cards are cycling, so you can still That's get fair. Like, bone this in there and yep. stuff like that. Yep. Very okay. true. Okay. Um, yeah, we could just go this. Uh, probably, that makes sense yeah. to me. Yeah. It's, and see, just do nothing this turn. Yeah. The next turn we can go ahead and get six in there. Maybe seven, seven. if he doesn't play another creature. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Forget about the little kitty. <laughs> no respect for the cat. Mm-hmm. All right. They have Essence Scatter or something and not understand how Embalm works. It's possible. I'm thinking that's what's happening. Or unless they, like, DC it or something. All right. No attacks. Go. <coughs> I wouldn't, like, hate them for it. You know? No, no. I, I mean, I, I understand. I'm a kid that hasn't been standard legal for quite some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Um, There's still, you know, when new mechanics come out that you've never, like, experienced. Like, remember when we were trying to figure out Mutate? Oh, yeah. We were <laughs> like, both really It was confused. a joke with us trying to figure it out. It's quite entertaining, though. Yep. And people could have watched us. Ooh, buddy. Okay. We're going to tap your bird, and yes. we're going to attack with everybody. You are not wrong. <clears throat> you get Snowbird. <laughs> Yeah, we're probably just going to go land a Noid Priest, and if we draw land, we just take Lay Claim and play any block, take yeah, any block. Take that Bone Picker for ourselves. This Noid Priest might get um Essence Scare, but I don't think we even care. We don't care at all. Not we even, do not even kind of care. Not about even that. a little bit. He needs a Splendid Agony here or something. I, okay, he just doesn't have anything. Yeah, he's in a world of trouble now. <clears throat> he needs we'll, to beat we'll both Noid Priest. He needs to beat both Flyers and the Fan Bearer. And he had to use Supremal to counter a two mana embalmed creature. Yep. So, so opponent is in a horrible position. Yeah, that doesn't even kind of stop us. <clears throat> I don't think. All right, now he has enough blockers. All right, come on, baby. Let's peel Oops. that land off the top. <laughs> even if we don't, though, we're Let's still go. in a fine spot. Oh, I agree. Doesn't quite kill them, but what it does do is it lets us, let's see. I think it's best to just embalm the Anointer Priest here, and yeah. then on his end step, tap a creature, and then on our yeah. next turn, tap something else in Cartouche up. I agree. Yeah. Oh, well, he gives us a life if that becomes relevant. Yep. I don't think it will, but... Probably not. His mono flyers he played, are those nice. I, those are nice, yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like how that what they do as well. Yeah, he's deck. he's got a cool deck. He's yeah, got he's a like really cool good. cycling deck. This is pretty much how you draw yeah. up the blue black. Yeah, cycling we would say deck. good games as well. Um, we we <laughs> we're we also assuming it's probably GGs. Yeah, they got to beat a lot here. Yeah, it's not looking too well. We're for gonna them. tap your four four, I guess. Yeah, we suppose. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do it again. Right, we're gonna tap the three two now. Yep. And then we're gonna. Kurt. Yeah, just just to rub it in. Yeah, rub in time. Probably uh, the sacred cat, I suppose. Yeah, sure. It gives us more life. It's, a, it's always <laughs> nice to swing a kitty. Yeah. All right. Cool. Not bad. Attack all. If this somehow doesn't work, we have another fan bear yeah. to make blocking even more impossible. I have no idea what they could have done there, but <coughs> I've seen crazier things happen. Yeah, for sure. All right. Is that what fifth win now? I think. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. I think so. I think I'm so. I'm pretty sure it is. I could, I could tell you. Yeah, this um, is going really well. Yeah. Really, really well. One loss so far. Yeah. And that was due to us uh, mis not getting math down. Correctly. Yeah. Yeah. You had the read and... Yep. Four wins. Four wins. That's four wins? Okay. So we're 4-1 right now. Working our way to a magical number seven. Trying to get all these Amagat <laughs> cards so we can start playing with them more. 
more even historic. though I got I got enough wild cards that we really want to yeah. play historic, like yeah. it's not that big of a deal. But there's a lot of cool stuff happening in historic, yeah. so we'll definitely do some of that on our stream coming up here soon too. Yep. Um, gonna go ahead and try to get another W here. Um, yeah, absolutely. Tomorrow probably no stream because we got to do a podcast tomorrow. Yep. Tomorrow's so. podcast day. Yeah. Connor's gonna be podcast guest next week. Next week, which okay, is gonna be that awesome. Should be a good time. Yep. Yeah. It's always fun. <clears throat> It's yes, indeed, it is nice. It's very exciting. Yeah, Connor, you'll have to you'll have to let us know what what you want the topic to be. Man, we're still pretty open with topic. Yeah, um, for sure. So, uh, we'll definitely bring up how you've been crushing the Mana Traders events, dude. Oh, you've been doing those awesome are his in those. Events. Yeah, he's sponsored by Mana Traders now too, which is awesome. That's sweet, yeah, dude. That's I didn't awesome. I didn't even know that. Oh yeah. Now look. that you mention it, I remember him posting something about it on Twitter, oh, yeah. I think, but I had definitely forgotten about it. That was a curve. So. Let's go. That is really awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's been crushing them, the um, Magic Online events, not just the man traders. Yeah. Yeah. I saw he did, well, there was like a Mox qualifier over the weekend when he, I, sh I showed you his Lotus field. That, yeah. that I, he's put in a lot of work with, with Lotus, so <laughs> I know. It, it makes sense. He's been crushing it. Yep. <clears throat> That's just Facebook. Fan bearer. I'm a fan. <laughs> I am also a fan. <laughs> this card's great. Salsa shark, huh? I like it. Yep. Oh, we're about to get in there for that crucial one. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Ping. Ping. Show respect. Scoop. <sighs> Binding mummy. You're supposed to... <laughs> The respectful thing is to concede to the fan bear swinging on turn two. <laughs> You're like, I can't even win this game now. <laughs> Too good. Too strong. Asper. All right, that's probably a splendid agony, or they're going to wrath us on turn four, one or the other. Well, Combat, attack all. It could be impeccable timing or something. Too. I'm not scared either. Like, I'm not playing around Wrath of God ever. <laughs> like, oh, that's a good one. That's really disgusting. Single with the fan bear is probably poor. Yeah, I wasn't playing around that, uh, but I, I should have been. Either. Yeah, we probably should have thought more about it, I guess. It's whatever. Here we are. Uh, right. Dauntless Haven, I think. Or Aerial. No, it's Aerial Guide. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah, it gives that flying, <clears> yeah. yeah, yeah, both flyers. Um, yeah, no, um... And even impeccable timing, like exposing fan bear to impeccable timing is probably poor too. So yeah, that was probably a mistake. Um. Yeah, there's probably no correct <laughs> scenario where we should have been swinging with the fan bear. Yeah. That was just when me. they have open mana. It's not smart. It's kind uh, of Let's go ahead and swing. Yep. <coughs> swing both. They are still in pretty big trouble, though. Honestly, like this yeah, is cause... still a pretty nice aggressive curve. I agree. Uh, What's more, this is just more damage in the air? Well, Binding Mummy won't have flying anymore, because you'll be giving Avenger flying instead. But it does let you, this does let you cycle the Attendant to try and hit a fifth lane. Yeah. I think that's smart, yeah. yeah I like that, because then we can just play it on turn five. But There's also, like, if he has Essence Scatter, yeah. Uh, we care okay. less about this than the Dauntless Haven. I'm going to just do just this now. Yeah, just save time. Make yeah. sure it gets done. Yeah. Cool. Because forgetting that is just miserable. And that was what we wanted to hit was the lamp. Yep. Because now we just embalm and Essence Scatter doesn't even stop us I if he agree. leaves up two mana, which is very likely with Sunset Pyramid in play that he will leave up two mana. Unless he just activates it right now, which is also possible, but unlikely. Definitely feels like he's playing like a control deck. Yep. <laughs> but he had the classic, didn't play anything until turn three. Which just has, even with a really nice start finish, yeah, he has to, yeah, that is so bad. Having, no, to, having to cycle that card is never exciting unless you are a sarcophagus deck. <clears throat> but it's never really what, yeah, he's going to finish. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Now we just get to cast Aven of Enduring Hope, I think. Oh, yeah. never mind. We're going to play our three drop and our two drop. I agree. <laughs> We're going to. Just play it all. I love exerting and then untapping every turn. That's a real. I, I want to play this when you can, can tap. Actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, also like <laughs> essence scatters a card, so yeah. whenever he leaves up two mana, that's the ideal time to embalm it. Yeah, yeah. They have to desperation tap their pyramid to draw a card because they're missing lands. Yeah, just 
actual disaster for our opponent here. What they might have a sp- again? untaps a target creature, huh. so you get free exerts. It's oh, that really is, ridiculous. That and is actually pretty oh, dope. it's ridiculous. Yeah, no, it's absolutely incredible. All right, I think no need to tap either of them. No, I think I it's think just even an enduring hope. Yep. Yep. And then we just go and we do our free exert. Yep. Exert and attack with Aven and untap it and. Yeah, no, Dauntless Aven with the Exert cards is incredible. It's especially incredible with the one that makes a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. I played against uh, I played against that and had it in one of my decks, too. And, oh, my God, the value just, just gets so out of control so fast. Yeah. So many bodies. <clears throat> what we got here, buddy? I think a Desperation. Yep. Yeah. Desperation Pyramid activation because I'm dead on be. board. Not where yep. you want to be. Yep. <laughs> Very far from where you want to be. Yeah, they're yeah, very dead. All there right, were so few cards that got them out of that situation. Yeah, this is this is awesome. This is a really yep. this deck's turning out really nice. This is a good draft. Yeah, it's been nice. Good draft for us here. Mm-hmm. All right, go to play for number six. Yep. And it's funny, too, because usually when people talk about uh, blue-white in this format, you're not talking about, like, an evasive aggro deck. Yeah. Usually the blue-white deck is the embalm deck yep. in this format or embalm a control or deck. Like control with yeah. like approaches, things like that. The mill, mill strategy is real. But it really just shows how open this format is, like, because literally blue-white by itself can have, like, four or five different Because you also got to look, people are call, <laughs> comparing it to um, Amaken and stuff. Keep in mind that we don't have all the cards from the original Mama Cat. Yeah. In addition, it's a mixture of Mama Cat and yeah. our Devastation put all in the one set. Yep. One remi- and then let's not forget that we have some really interesting cards like Thoughtseize, Collected Company. Yeah, stuff. all the rain. That really oh changed Oh my that. god, have I been blown out by Collected Company yeah. in this format. I have yet to times. play against Collected Company. I also Company. haven't draft. I've, I've had a couple opportunities to draft it and didn't, which was definitely just a mistake because the green-white decks in this format just play twos and threes anyway. So it's actually just a really good card. This hand, I think, is good enough because of the Oketra's intended, but it's very close. Yep. Um, very, very just close. Just got to hope we um, just draw a land. We'll yeah, we have a turn two Gus Walker. Yeah. I think we're just going to hope, yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm okay main phase. I'm cycling this to look for our third land. Absolutely. Yep, so am I. Oh, they got the kitty. We did. It's a good draw. That is a really good That's draw. exactly what we wanted. <laughs> we don't need to exert currently. Nope. We need to exert currently. Unless we just deserts hold it. Ooh. Hm. Either that or we could farm it. I don't love farm in case he doesn't attack if he yeah. suspects something fishy, like an impeccable timing. Uh, I think, honestly, exerting and playing guide is probably best now that we drew the guide. Yeah. Just into that. continuing to get on the board. It gives us a blocker for the sacred cat, so he's not going to be able to swing the race. <coughs> Yeah, let's just keep developing the board. We can Desert's Hold later. Sure. Don't really care about that at all. I assume they don't exert. They did exert. That's interesting to me. All right, no blocks. It's pretty good. But... Yeah, it will be good later. Do we, do we want to make, try to hit this fourth land drop? I don't think I don't so. Think I that... think we just attack and leave up farm. Yeah. And I think we'll farm the 2-3 probably yeah. just to be efficient with our mana. Yeah. And really just to get it off the table. Okay, that will be a very good Desert's Hold target. I agree. A very, very good Desert's Hold target. Yep, farm. Kill the two, three. <clears throat> Straw desert. I'll take it. Deserts hold your two, three. Hit you for four. <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> I like where we're at. Oh yeah, no, we're in a very good spot again. Mm-hmm. We're just barely ahead on board. Yep. We have very good five drops in our hand. We got a good card to discard. Oh, never mind. That's fine. That's okay. I was going to say that could have been be- cool. Yeah, it's better than being the okay. Oketra's attendant. 
that's a really solid draw too. Yeah, so we can because we can play that and cartouche it up, and then we have a good blocker. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Big fan of this. Okay, it's a good draw. I think we're still attacking. I agree. It's a very close race, but I think we're in an okay spot. If he yep. exerts both Gus Walkers, he's in some trouble because then he will be tapped out for a turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and he can't swing with him unless he exerts. Mm -hmm. it looks like he is exerting, but that's good for us because mm -hmm. the turn off is going to be a big deal. Okay, we'll block your disposal. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're going to block the mummy for sure. I think. So. Are we playing around in Oketra's name? Because if we are, then we block Sacred Cat. But that's a pretty medium block. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'd take ten if he had Inoketra's name and we blocked Sacred Cat. Oh, I was calculating um, right now if he sure. had Inoketra in stuff. Yeah, that'll be still ten. So it's, it's ten regret? No. It'll be more than ten if we... So it'll be four, four plus six. Four, no, it'll be eight. Oh, Four plus eight, so twelve. We'd yeah. go to one. Yeah, which is not dead. Yeah, yeah. So Let's play around it. I, I'm fine with playing around it. We'll yeah, be safe. Because I think we're still winning this race. Yeah. We draw. We need to draw a land. Yeah. Even if enduring hope will put us in a really gold spot. All right, that's a good draw too. Now we just get to play two threats. Yep. Yeah. So I like just getting yep that, that and then the fan bear and then I think we attack all. Yeah. We'll tap the one one token because it flies. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll attack seven. Uh, sure. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, get the Gus Walker flying. Good matter if he had Desrus. <clears throat> And then let's just hope we're not dead somehow. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty unlikely. The only thing we can't block is the 1-1 one, one flyer. Double catchers. That'd be disgusting. That would be death. <laughs> not, what he, not what he had, thank God. Yeah. So. It would have been death, but unfortunately he didn't have death. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is Spellweaver Eternal having a flick, too, is a nightmare for our opponent, too. Yeah, these are zombies, okay. <clears throat> so this seems like a spot where we're supposed to... Probably so, tap the lifelink. Well, let's do math here. So if we, if we see, exert we, the walker and give this flying, I have no idea how he gets out of us tapping. So then we tap down the lifelinker. Yeah. He blocks three, blocks three, then he takes four. Yeah, still dies. Yeah, I think well, they all fly. They all fly, too, because yeah. you exert Gus Walker here. And yeah, then just, just give the... At this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cause, yeah, let's just do that then. Yeah, let's tap. I, I don't think he can win if we tap. I literally have no idea what he could do. Exert. Exert. Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. Six wins, baby. Let's go. One more. This is nice. This has been really sweet. Gets more and more fun as we go. <clears throat> yes, yeah, limited format's really sweet. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of a lot of different decks you can play. Um, I've enjoyed it. All right. Let's keep the train alive. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Just all angry. <clears throat> all right, trying to. <coughs> Get this precious W. Mm hmm. Sure are. Huh. I'm gonna make us work for this. Um, la working for seven. Working for seven. <clears throat> this deck turned out pretty nice. It's very good. Yeah. This is a very good deck. It was a good draft. Yeah. Uh, very smart drafting. We stayed open for a while and definitely identified what we needed to do, and I'm very, very happy with this deck. Okay. And it's good enough. It's not exciting, but we're not going to five. No. So.
the first hit sucked. Yeah, I mean, it, it at least has plays. The uh, first hit would have been really good if we would have had a mixture of colors, yeah, like, yeah. obviously. This is one of the worst hands we've capped, but again, we have to. Like, we're not going to five. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of good draws in our deck, mm -hmm. so we're just going to have to kind of hope. We're hope that the top spell, of the deck. We're going to go double spell. We're gonna go yeah, spell, 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 and... It looks like, hopefully our opponent's on an aggressive red deck, so the Anointer Priest is good, honestly. I might be eating a Magma Spray, yep. That's fine. <laughs> yep, totally fine. Not a big deal. Definitely one of the worst creatures in our deck, uh, for being honest, so not sad to see a spray. Yep, and it looks like he is red-white. That's a good draw. It's a real card. Spellweaver Eternal. Oh, it's going to trigger him, too. Yep. It's quite nice. Very nice, yeah. Okay, well, that's getting compulsory arrested. Yep, this is looking like priest, priest and you're under arrest, Camel. Take three. All right, let's draw some spells. Yep. Let's go. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Our opponent's deck looks pretty sweet. Just yeah. a mid-range red... Oh, that's one of the best draws in our deck. That that was literally what I was going to say was the best draw in our deck last turn. Let's go. Hard pass. <clears throat> yep. All right. Do not have another Sand Strangler, you monster. Yep, no blocks. We would prefer to race. Oh, my God. He could flicker it. Oh, with the Vizier. Oh, my goodness. Okay. How messed up with... Oh! <laughs> oh! I, I knew no! it. No! Oh, it. my God. <laughs> Maybe we won't kill the 3-3. Three, three. Oh. <laughs> God. Oh, savage. All right, ready to fly? Yeah, uh, we are not attacking. We're not winning that race no. at all. Uh... Still not attacking. We're not winning that race. We are not winning that race, my friend. Yeah. All right, well, you know, I mean, for everything that's happened to this game, good God, man. This guy's had a really nice draw. Pretty good deck, yeah, honestly. Yeah, his deck's good. His draw's good. I think we just got to trade with the Vizier. I'm not excited, but yeah. I, th I think we got to play defense to try and get back I into this game. I agree with you. All right, we could still get out of okay, this. Okay, that's there's, a very good draw. A start. Very, very good draw. That's a free block on the Sand Strangler, too, because we will yeah. literally pitch like any card in our deck for this to be a 4-4. Four, four. Yes. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Does he have another Desert Hold? That would be disgusting. His deck is sweet. We will block. His deck is sweet. It's definitely very good. He's played a lot of uh, good uncommons on us. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, he has just a lot of synergy with the deserts. Yeah, yeah we're just going to pitch think... that for a 4-4, four, four, I guess. Yep. The 4-4 four, four is just too good. <laughs> yep. Got to gain that life. Yeah, and just have a block. Like, he can't attack anymore, so unless he has compulsory arrest. I mean, there are a lot of things yeah. that will deal with the 4-4, four, four, but at least we can get a creature off the board with most scenarios. Yep. Might just string with it. Okay. Yeah, so they have like impeccable timing or something, but we just gotta, you know, we block camel and hope for the best. Yep. Block camel to take our two for one and be happy about it. Yep. Maybe we block the three three actually, because the yeah. three two we can trade with easier. Do we block he didn't exert this. That gives me a nice Red flag, like he's got something. Oh, we know he has something anyway because he's attacking. I think we blocked the three three though because it's the hardest thing Is to this trade up. Blocked for some reason. It's the desert's hold. Oh, okay. That's yeah, that's what I was like. I think we put it on the three three. The three three is going to be the hardest thing to. I beat. thought we were blocking this. So I forgot what was going on. Yep, and that's what I figured yeah. they had. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can trade with Camel. Yep. All right, let's go. Or if he doesn't exert Avenger, we might just trade there yeah. and then hedge our bets that we can draw some. Right. It's a smart attack. No blocks. We, we're going to just take that. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's not attacking us now for two turns, so. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. That plays, that plays. Camel. I think yeah. we put it on the camel. And, uh... 
Yeah, I mean, this is a top deck war. We could still definitely win. It's ship it. Yep. And we'll trade with the archer if he attacks. Oh yeah. So have to. Yep. Block. We're just gonna hope our opponent floods. And that we keep drawing spells. Yeah, that's literally yeah. all we could do. That's what this is a battle of. All right, we'll play our land. Go. We play lake yeah, land. we have a lake claim, which would and be amazing. And yeah, that's... cycling lands, you yep. know. All, yep. Are, yep. all are worth playing our lands off of. Yep, it's a claim. I mean, the... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh! I don't even think... Oh, we God, we have to cycle because we don't have time. Yeah. Yeah, even if we drew a land, we're dead. Because it doesn't have vigilance. <coughs> I think it's going to be all she wrote for us. We just needed one more land. If we could have stolen that, that would have been nice. But it's all right. It was a good game. Our opponent had a very good deck. They two for one us twice on Sand Strangler. So not much you can do about that. <laughs> Sand Strangler is incredible when it triggers in limited, and when you trigger it twice, it's yeah, it even was better. A very close game. That was for how badly we got blown out by Sand Strangler <laughs> yeah. twice. It was a good game of Magic. So, all right, one more try for the seventh win. <coughs> you know, sometimes you get blown out by two uncommons that synergize well together. Whatever. His whole deck synergized. Yeah, his whole deck definitely synergized. Um, but especially the, uh, the, the Vizier and the Sand Strangler is disgusting. It's funny, Camel is like nearly, like, Camel is pretty awful when you don't have deserts and is pretty great when you do have deserts. A 3 2 lifelink yeah. versus a 3 2 vanilla for three mana is huge. <clears throat> Curious how many deserts he had in his deck. Yeah. Like, did he get lucky there and just peel, like, one of two? Did he have four or five? Who knows? It's all good. We're good. We got... Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with the draft, regardless yeah. of what happens at the end here. Um... That's unfortunate. We got a mulligan that, but oh boy, we got a mull that too. Yeah, it's just not good. Yeah, a little bit of variance issues here. That's okay though. A five can definitely win. All right. Yep, this is a five that can definitely do it. So we want to keep the Oketra's attendant because it's a two for one and basically gets yes. us back to six cards. So probably the Aven of Enduring goes. And. Honestly, probably the Spellweaver Eternal. That card yeah. is very medium. Not high on that card at all. <clears throat> yeah, let's uh, play land and say go. And <coughs> Excuse me? Let's go. And we're going to just hope that our solid uncommons and our very good common will be enough here. Honestly, one of the best draws for us would be like ripping a blue cartouche. All right, that's good too. Island, Avenger, your turn. Yep, let's roll. <clears throat> sure. Right. Attack and exert. And then play our 2 3. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, I like where we're at here. Good start. It's nice. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. I think first thing we do is cycle Oketra's attendant. Because we could hit the flood. We could hit a two drop, too. So, Just nice. Just turn. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't like attacking very much. I definitely like blocking. Yeah. The, the like, blocking Thorn Moloch and then just eternalizing pitching claim is, like, a very real thing that could happen, too, if we wanted to. We probably wouldn't do that, but it is an option, at least. It keeps the 2-1 back, most you importantly. You draw land and just play an attendant, too. Yep. No, I think, yeah, I think this is actually working out quite well. Ooh. That's annoying. Bye-bye. 
It's fine. Yep. The swing is not fine. Yeah. Super tough. Question is, are we just supposed to block to get the champion in the yard? Probably not. Oh, dude, that's good. Yeah. I think, honestly, lay claim... Oh, the cartouche will fall off if we ever lay claim it. That's the most annoying thing about yeah. the cartouches, dude. I hate that. All right, that's fine. All right, Ocatra's attendant. Uh, attack and exert. Think so. Yeah, we're not blocking, so we might as well yeah. get in. <clears throat> oh, that is not good. This is a spot where pyramid is very good. <laughs> when the board when the board is stalled and you're a slightly ahead or even, that card is incredible. I think we definitely block it this turn. <clears throat> Swing thing. The longer we wait, the more likely we get final rewarded too, which I'm not into, so Yeah. Oh, does he have a spray too? Okay. I guess if he had if he had a spray, like Gus Walker's getting sprayed anyway, so it's like but alright. So I think unless we draw a blue source, like if we draw a planes, we'd probably pitch it. If we draw a blue source, we would maybe wait on doing anything. But interesting. It doesn't really do anything. I think we're supposed to get Yeah, those. I would pitch the Ghost Walker. I... Lake Lame's such a good card that maybe it can catch us back into the game. Yep. Gus Walkers aren't racing a 3 3 lifelinker, so. 3 3 first strike lifelinker at that. Uh, we will attack for three. Yeah, we might as well. We got to get the damage in while we can. He's going to gain a ton of life, but we got to just try and fight yeah. it. We just got to hope he has no non creature spells. That's literally what we're banking on. Yeah. It seems unlikely the way his deck has been constructed yeah. thus far, but it's possible. Oh yeah, um, he could flood or whatever. You know, I mean, a lot of things can happen. And we should have time to at least assemble a new deck. Yeah, I'm um, into that. Yep, build another deck and then maybe not play that yeah. one. But yeah, no, for sure. Definitely be fun to draft another deck on stream before we um call it. Call it quits for the day. Yeah. So we're just blocking the two one here, right? Yeah, because we just got. Yeah, he's definitely got something. I feel like it's like splendid agony. Mm -hmm. Could be open fire. Could be magma spray. Yeah. Sure. But this is you know. At least this way we didn't get super blown out. Yeah. We still trade with a thing. Uh -huh. We're really just hoping that we draw a blue source and another land to lay claim the Moloch. That's yeah. the only way we're getting back into this game. So bad. <laughs> so bad. Blocker! Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to play it, obviously. We're not going to hold it. Uh, and I think we just, honestly, God, I don't even know that we can attack anymore. We yeah, can. I don't think we can. I think, like, now we double block 3-3 three, three and Gus Walker on Magmaroth. <clears throat> Probably. Probably. It's not a great position, but... No, yeah, it's... We're in trouble. Yep. We mold the five. Opponent has a pretty cool deck. Oh, boy. Nest of Scarabs and Magmaroth combo. That's something. We're going to try to kill Magmaroth this time. Oh, yeah. We're, we're double blocking it with a 3-3 three, three and a 2-1. Oh, he's That's so a smart, smart. play. That's oh. a, yeah. Because it's whenever you put... Is it... How does Nest of Scarabs work again? Can we... On a creature... Yeah, God, that's good. Um, yeah, we just... We don't even yeah, we can't. have blocks. Yeah, we have no blocks. <sighs> oh, buddy. This is looking like the end of the road. Yep, but, you know, <laughs> very happy with six wins regardless, even if even if we don't quite get there. It was a good deck. We drafted well. Mm -hmm. Pretty pleased with this. We had a little bit of mulligans at the end there. Yep, so yeah, mulling to five in a best of one format is pretty rough. Yeah. Especially in limited. It's quite brutal. Yep.
So they're debating if they want to activate Pyramid or do something, yeah, spell-wise. I still think Lake Claim is the only way we can possibly win. Okay, that that's a good draw. That's it a is. really, really good draw. That's not that. Yeah, we'll just pass the turn because we can't do anything. Yeah, I still don't like attacking. No, he's at 27. Yeah. Our swing in here ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Makes us look silly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got to just try and not die and get to this lay claim. Gets a draw card here, which is unfortunate. Yep. <coughs> Forget the draw card. You did not. Oh, this is so good. So good. Yeah, dude, Magmaroth has really nasty synergy with a few random cards in this format. Like I told you, the game where my opponent freaking cocoed into the spider yeah. that drains every time you do it. Oh, my God, that was ridiculous. Yep, you got that. Mm-hmm. All right, well, they're sending their Magmaroth in, so that's cool. So I think we got to get rid of Magmaroth. I agree. I think we put the 2-1. Maybe we put the 2-2 two, two and the 3-3 three, three on it and keep the 2-1 to trade with something else. Yeah, that's probably better. And then we farm the 3-3, three, three, right? I think that's yeah. the plan here. So like this. Yep. Oh, does that change? I think we now kill the, the Magmaroth. Maybe we should just triple block there. Possibly. I really don't know. I, don't I think know. we just needed to hope that didn't happen. Yeah. It's fine. It's still possible that we can win. Very unlikely, yeah. but at least possible. Um. You could draw like a desert, cycle it, hit desert's hold or something, and then it's still kind of a game. I don't think we can lay Clint hold this anymore. I think I agree. Yeah, yeah I think I agree. It's just too slow. We just don't even hit, have. We're we missing. We haven't so hit lands. So, well, now we will. Yeah. yeah, but that's fine. I still think you were right. Oh, I shouldn't have played that, but that's fine. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what card we can find here. So. Put this in the play. Are we dead still? So block, block, block. No, we're not dead. We're close to dead, but we're not quite dead if he has literal nothing. So I think you pitch an Oyner Priest Island, play yeah. Fan Bearer, and we pray. Yeah. We pray that we're not dead. It's literally all we can Come do. Come on, Jehovah. <laughs> yeah. Block. So, I, I'm block. assuming we're at the six win mark. Okay. Oh, he was trying to do that with Magmaroth. How rude. Still not dead. Uh, you chump block the 4 4 with the 2 1. You oh. eat the 2 1 with the 3 3. And you eat the 1 1 with the 1 2. Yep. And we go to 1. As long as he doesn't do anything here. It was actually oh, kind still? of a. It was kind of a. A bad attack, honestly. Giving us his 2-1 makes very little sense when we're at 1, and that thing can drain we're us. we're going up to 2. We sure are. It was not a good play. Um, it was a very awkward line. There's actually hope. There is hope. Yeah, no, let's eternalize for sure. Yeah. There ain't no question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, we've got to attack. We can't not attack anymore. Attack for 3. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. He's going to scry. Yeah. Good news, I guess. So that give me priority. That's all I'm asking for. Oh, don't be dirty. Don't He's got be. a cartouche or something annoying. I feel it. Black cartouche. Don't be this guy. Family. Maybe a lethal sting. Or tap your Moloch. I agree. That does seem like a good play. 
And I guess we, I mean, we have to block. We can't just keep taking one from this stupid thing. So we're just going to have to let him have two 1-1s. One yes. And let him put a counter. Really? I'm surprised he didn't attack. That's odd to me. Uh, yeah, we're going to play that. We're going to play that. We're going to attack for three. Yeah. And <laughs> we're just, you know, we're going to keep living on the edge. Um, this is a pretty exciting end <laughs> to the draft, yeah. though, I will say. Go. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's... We're not dead, but... Well, yeah, we, we are. Yeah, we yeah, are. <laughs> we're very dead. That's two one ones. <laughs> or is that four one ones? I think that's four one ones, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's four one ones kill your guy. That's unbelievable value. Oh, my God. That is yeah. great. His deck was All right, sweet. his deck was very good. Yeah, very deck was sweet. Very sweet deck. Um, but yeah, happy with that draft. Let's let's hop in another one, do the draft, and then uh, we'll be off for the evening after that. Uh, Larry just found a switch today in Lansing, so I've been playing some some Pokemon Sword today. Yep, not very been, well. Been having some fun with that. All right. <clears throat> we will take this money, and we'll go and open these packs really quick. Let's get some good good value. Yep. I take it. Yeah. Cycling. Not very Gotta good. open them at some point, I suppose. Yep. <laughs> Gotta open them at some. No, that card's sweet, man. Is it what's uh? It so, is a sweet card. What does so this? So this this card they play it in the Pioneer um Georgia Stretch. Yeah, I know they played it. Didn't uh? Didn't they play it in Modern for a quick minute too? Oh, that card sucks. That's fair. I thought I've seen it in in Dredge and uh, Modern before. I'll take another approach. Yeah. It might have been one of the packs. I know um, something mentions it in the Cyborg Guide all the time. Yeah. On why he don't play it. Yep. Oh, wrong one. Uh, just forced to have it. Yep. But no, we're just working on... I don't know. I think I might have opened only like one thought see so far. Yeah, I was really lucky. I opened three and then just crafted the last one. Um, most of them in winning, winnings, too. Ooh, these are some nice uncommons. The rare's terrible, yeah. but all three of these uncommons, I, I think they're all very good. This um, is really good. I think the first two are better than the three two. The three two is just, just three, a good. Two, I don't like. I hate taking like two dual Pe cards. Yeah, like same. That. So it's between trial and deem worthy. Both are really really good cards. Um, I think trial's a little better. Deem worthy like is kind of expensive. Because there's the potential of putting it right back in your hand. Yeah, I'm going with the trial. Yeah, trial is a really yeah. White's just so strong. White is really really good. Trial with exert. It's just so stupid. Like, yeah. Vigilance with all your exert is so good, man. It's just such a good card. Like I was saying, you know, in our last one, all of them except the green one, even with no cartouches, are still very, very good card. Wow. This is a nice pack, too. But again, both the uncommons, very good. Compulsory Arrest, Good, but I think we're gonna take one of the uncommons here. I think here. we take this. Just I'm in. Hope. Yeah, I'm in. It's so good. Because I really if we will do say... end up getting in the zombies. That's not so good. <laughs> yeah, it pays you off so well. I will say, Vizier has been actually really impressive. <laughs> uh, you talked about how annoying Festering Mummy is. Not when that card's in oh, play. Oh, I know. Splendid Agony does nothing. Has no text when Vizier's in play. So I've I've been really. Doesn't, it, uh, doesn't it still do one? Uh, one oh, thousand? if you target the same creature, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but three mana kill a vizier is much less scary than three mana kill two two ones or whatever. But yes, you're you're definitely right. I forgot. Oh, compulsory rest. Let's go. I think we just this has been awesome. We are getting very good cards. <clears throat> Clearly, the drafters with us don't respect white for some reason. It's fine. Ooh, camel's pretty good. Camel's good. Illumination is a very good card if we wanted to maybe go into blue. Uh, Anointer Priest is a solid card. Appeal to Authority is very, very good if you end up getting the right deck. 
So we have we have some options here. Um, it really just depends. You know, I could see I could see staying white and just taking like camel or anointer priest. Yeah, that I might think, be the safest play. I think I like camel. Sure. I think camel's a sweet card. Well, how married to zombies are we? Because we've got a solid two drop zombie right there. I don't and think it hurts. I think we just take the two two zombie, the two mana one. Let's just make sure we have two drops. Yep. It's always important in this format to make sure you have a but lot of twos. Well, we don't have to play it either, which is nice. Impeccable timing is pretty sweet. Impeccable timing is very good, yep. Yeah, I think I like that. Yep, that'd be my pick here, for sure. I just like good, good clean, efficient removal. Good, clean, clean, cheap. Removal hits, spells, yep. It hits almost everything. Like Yeah, no, it really does. We're it's, not dedicated to black by any means. No, like, no, no, we don't have to be. Um, and that's the cool thing about it. The Kenra Eternal was a pretty free pick. There wasn't anything else too exciting there. The green two mana two two exert guy was in that pack. Um, I think he would have been an interesting take as well, I suppose. I think we just take another time. I was just gonna yeah. say like He's gonna keep taking good white cards. White is very obviously wide open, so we're gonna yeah. keep Keep doing that, and then we'll see what reveals itself to be the second color, if we even play a second color. Um. <coughs> Ooh, binding mummy. Yeah, let's go. We're just gonna so we do go the taking. mummy route. We do have a good good grasp on it, I'll tell you that. Yep. And we're setting up to be a good monument deck if we find Oh, one. yeah, yeah. Monument is incredible. Mm -hmm. card is just so good. Sure, I'll take a third impeccable timing. Why not? There's no way that a white people are drafting white in this thing. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, that I is will a very play good... all three. I agree. I have yeah. no care. Yeah, for sure, it's a really good card. Like you, you get, said, it deals with nothing. It like... deals with most four drops in the format, which is an incredible rate. It deals with some five drops. Like mm -hmm. it's just good. Just a very very good card. I'm gonna take this in case we're red. That's smart because that, that card really... that card shouldn't that, go that late. That card that card plays. Right, okay, camel's fun. I like the camel. We need to try to get a desert. Yeah, no. Once once you start getting a bunch of camels, if you plant an anointed priest, wow, wow, <laughs> that is ridiculous. Yeah, people are just not we taking might, white at all, at all. Yeah, we're gonna get every white card we want. The way people are drafting this, I mean, this is insane. Okay. Well, this they're really good. Yep. I'm just gonna highlight. I'm not gonna. Um, again, this card's pretty good, but I don't know if I can take it. Yeah, it's not um, as good as Bill Flamin, I don't think. We're not wide enough for me to take that. I'm not sold on that card. I think yeah. I just take this card. I, I think agree. this card's solid. Oh, it's very good. Yeah, that card is very, very good. <laughs> hmm. We're not sold on Black Still, just the best card in the pack. Yep. There were no bomb white cards there, so no, we no. had to make a decision. No, that, that, that pack was not white loving. Nope. Yeah, that's fine. Our opponent, our yep. There's a, just a cast out. Hold yeah. on, riddle form though, <coughs> okay. dude. I get they took the rare, but man, there's cast out. No, so our white has some good removal, bro. Yeah, I man, I kind of wish we would have took the um cartouche. I don't want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I I like what we have so far. This is good. Yeah, it's looking like a black is gonna be the solid color, but we'll see. All right, so let's see here. Trial uh, of Knowledge is the best card in the pack, I think. Magma Spray is close, though. Splendid Agony is also a very good card. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I think to complement the other black cards, we probably should go Splendid Agony. Because we do... It's either Splendid Agony or we just take the Mummy. Because we do... Yeah, I really don't want to take a Mummy this yeah. early. Mummy's not exciting yeah, it is at all. pretty early, yeah. I forgot. We don't have, really have any neg one. I think we probably yeah. just say, yeah, we're probably going to play some black and just yeah. take the Splendid Agony. The Bale Flamet was a really nice pickup. It makes me want to play black. Mm -hmm. um, so I I think, because at the end of the day, we're not even, oh, wow. Now we get Doom past Fall? a Doomfall, Doom too. That's where I'm at. There was a farm Doom. farm markets just killed. Oh, yeah, I think Doomfall's pretty Doom good. Doomfall's just really Being good. able to look at the hand is big. Oh, my goodness. Huh. Scorpion's really good, but Bantu's Last Reckoning is... It can lead to some blowouts. It's an awkward card in our deck, but it can certainly lead to blowouts. Usually Wraths are just really good. Yeah, Wraths are good. I think we just I take think... it. 
Even if we end up deciding we don't want to play it, which is certainly possible. Yeah, but um, most time you put. Oh ooh, my that goodness! Card is a- We're just going to be playing a bigger black white deck. Yeah, because we have triple impeccable timing. We don't need to be an aggro deck at all. Yeah, I think we actually we want to um, prioritize deserts pretty highly because we definitely want our camels to have lifelink, and we're going to be playing a seventeen land deck for yes. sure now. And we'd like to have some cycling ability for when we flood, which inevitably happens when you play yeah, seventeen. Aren't um, just changed? Yep. Oh, compulsory rest. Yes, please. <laughs> just infinite black removal. white control. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what ended up happening with this. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna just put you down there, buddy. Yep. Yeah, we really have a blue control deck. The scorpion's a pretty good, uh, good blocker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's. Not- I'm into it. Yeah. yeah Better than okay. supply caravan, so I think. Yeah. So Mike here is better in a swinging deck. Yeah, yep. Five mana three five is not very good. Five mana three five with a one one isn't amazing either, but it's good enough. Mm-hmm. Um, no, this is good. Might just take the uncommon for your vault progress. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, unburden's a really solid card. I'd definitely yeah, play one I of those. Like, I like unburden. Nice little two for one. And our and what we're doing here is really good. Mm-hmm. I can't believe this mythic was still going. Like, that, that is was, heinous. So that this card is, is really solid. Yeah, somebody played that against me, and I instantly knew while well, I was going to die. Mm-hmm. Counting our two drops here. Yeah, we don't need to take Miasmic at all, so we'll take yeah. Disposal. The fact that it makes us this card, I'm not a big fan of. I hate when, yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, that's a, you're right. That's horrendous in this kind of deck. A deck that wants to hit yeah, its we lands. Want, and... We want carbage. Oh. Sorry, well, guys. Here's the, here's the deal. We'll say this right now. Splendid Agony is the correct pick. Yeah. Uh, for sure. But, but Larry's uh, probably going to oh, take the rare. Oh, yeah. I am. I ain't going to lie to you. That's fine. Anywho, let's go back. Since um, Steve wanted to take the rare. Oh, final, final reward. reward. Yep. See, that's why we pay, took yeah. the pact. I, we, literally, we already have 23 playables. Any desert that is black or white, we take. Yes. Like, I don't even think we think about it at this point. Because <laughs> other than tri- Trial's actually pretty bad in this deck. It's fine. I don't really want to play but it. But we trial. probably don't want to play it, yeah. It's not the, um, but other than that, like, our deck is very good. It honestly doesn't do anything for our deck. Yeah, it does nothing. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm more sold on this card now. Like, oh, yeah, this is a really good card. I'm, the way our deck ended up, it's a great card. Yeah. This deck is was really cool. It's a very very sweet deck. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited to play this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, any desert snap going in our deck. Hopefully, people don't draft them super highly here. Uh, we haven't really seen any deserts, so I would assume people are drafting them pretty highly. <clears throat> okay. Huh. Let's see. Soul Singer is a pretty cool card. Yeah, Soul Singer is definitely serviceable. Nest uh, of Scarabs, I don't think we have enough to no, I, make it good. We only have one Splendid Agony. Yeah, so it's not good. Splendid Agony and that is not good enough. Nope, nope, not even close. So we'll I take the Soul Singer. Him, yeah. yeah, you know, he's, he's a solid card. Oh, that's There's easy. another Compulsory Rest. Yep, definitely taking that. This is unbelievable. Three Compulsory Rest, three Impeccable Timings. What are people doing? <clears throat> I guess we just take the Gus Walker. It's still a good card. Well, um, do we have any creatures that benefit from this? I guess that is good against opponents' tokens too, because it can true. always exile tokens. This, is this good in our stuff? I don't. Deck? I don't. I don't think so. I really, I'm really not a huge mm-hmm. fan of that card. I think Vizier might. I think be Vizier fine. just because it also stops their creatures from swinging if it's relevant. And it. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right, that's... It's a weird deck, man. We this is going to be just we got sweep just, you the deck. Yeah. Gosswalker's going this way. It's so wild. It's so ridiculous. I, I think I'd take another Unburden, personally. Yeah, we have is. no... <laughs> we have no deserts. Yeah, it's unfortunate. People drafted them very highly, clearly. So we're not going to have any life link from our Campbells, but they're still going to be blockers. Yeah. Bone Picker is pretty yeah. sweet. I don't know how often, though, we'll be getting the trigger on it. But it's still much better than 
literally like anything else. So I still think we take Bone Picker. We can actually get the trigger on it just fine, too. We just, like, attack with a Gus yeah. Walker or something. It's definitely it's easily the best card. There's no doubt about that. <coughs> Classic take an uncommon for Vault. Yeah. Yep. Yep, I'm not going to get a Desert. This draft, which sucks, but we do have a very solid deck, I think, so not going to be too upset about it. Probably, again, uncommon for Vault. <laughs> there are two of them. We don't have any way to discard ourselves, right? For Desert of the Indomitable, is that I what you're thinking about? I thought about just taking it. Um, I mean, you could. Why not? It's the most useful card there. It could easily be a land. Though. It could just be a 17th land. Yeah, and I, I was literally thinking about just playing that 17th land just so we had the chance to turn it Honestly, out. that might be right, because Camel is pretty bad when... Okay, Sacred Cat's pretty serviceable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't playing that much. No, no. Sure. I'm really thinking about playing it just because the card's pretty bad without it, so... Yeah, I mean, I could, I could see it. I'm not gonna fault you for it. Yeah, I um, think it's a little awkward in a, a deck with a triple white spell, but <laughs> whatever, we'll we'll do it anyway. Right, Camel's so bad without it that it's just nine cuts. Nine. Okay, so don't think we'll need. These. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need renewed. Um, Let's... There's also a world too where we just cut Camel and don't play Camel and then don't screw around with this nonsense and don't make our mana worse. Uh, because okay, we could do that too. Already got the trial out of here. Okay. Yeah. Well, the cool catcher's name is not here. Scare piece is not here. Just going through the cards really quick. Because honestly, Camel does look pretty bad in this deck. We don't need it at yeah, all. Yeah, I think right. I just cut them both, and then we don't screw around with that foolishness. Wayward servants, pretty medium. Yeah. Um. Just being a two color two drop is pretty weak. I like this because it could randomly no, it could randomly exile card. Yeah, like with aftermath. That down. too, but also actually, like I'd rather play a two three than a three two in this deck, you know, because mm -hmm. we're a deck that wants to block. Um. All right, so where are we at? Two more cuts. Two more cuts. Yep. Honestly, Binding Mummy seems pretty poor too. We need to be careful. We don't we we don't want to be a deck that always has to like leave up two mana on two and then they just don't attack into impeccable timing. Mm -hmm. Um because good players will do that to us. So I think we just keep it because it's a two drop. Sure. Because we only have three two drop creatures, and maybe maybe I was wrong to cut the, the wayward servant too. Maybe we just keep it because it's a two drop alone. Um because you don't in this format you Vizier's probably nonsense. We probably don't need it. It's not a needed card. Yeah, you're right. Um, and then from here is, you know, whatever. Um, the moment it has death touch. So it's yeah, it's like you know, it's a flying death toucher. It's a way to kill people. It's a very good Maybe traitor. Get rid of the cat. We could get rid of the cat. Yeah, I think that's mm -hmm. right. I've ever think that it seems like the cat. It might be. Like, yeah. It's also has... possible the deck only wants to play one unburden because the format's kind of aggressive. Uh, but at least Unburden always cycles. So. Uh, I think we can handle aggressive deck. <coughs> we have yeah. a lot to deal with yeah. for aggression. So, yeah. yeah, this is going to be our deck for when the next time we do this. So this yeah. should be fun. Yeah, thanks you know, for watching, Connor yeah. and Co. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll talk to you guys later. Connor, excited to talk to you next week, dude. If he's so. still on. Yeah, if, if this yeah. is still Connor. Uh, yeah. But anyway. Uh, we'll catch everyone later. Yep. Yeah.